Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode from Network From Home. Today we're talking about your router once again. The topic of the day is determining what speed your router can support. Obviously, the first thing to cover there is that not every router will support the same internet speeds. So there are a couple of main reasons why you want to know what speed your router can support. The first is that if your router can't support the speed of your internet plan, it can slow down your entire network and serve as a bottleneck for your home network. The other reason why you want to know what speed your router can support is that it will allow you to perform an assessment of your home network and make some smart decisions about either your internet plan or your router. For example, if your router doesn't support the speeds of your current internet plan, maybe you want to upgrade your router and get a new router that can support the internet plan that you're currently paying for on a monthly basis. On the other side of that coin, if your internet is working fine, you don't have any problems with the speed of your home network, but your router supports 200 megabits per second and you're paying for an 800 megabit per second internet plan, maybe you can scale back on your internet plan and get the same performance. And this can save you money on a monthly basis. So what we're going to do, we're going to dive in today, talk about how you go about finding what speed your router can support, and then what decisions you can make based upon knowing that number. So with that, let's find out the different ways, and there are a few different ways you can find out what speed your router supports. What we're looking for here are the technical specifications for your router. The first and the easiest way to find out this information is if you still have either the box that the router came in, or sometimes there will be a data sheet that comes in the box along with your owner's manual when you buy the router. So these are two things. The box itself will say the speed or the bandwidth that your router can support because that's one of the main marketing materials for routers. Additionally, that data sheet, there will be a usually like a, a little pamphlet that gives you the high level information about your router when you buy it. The caveat here is that when most people buy their router, and they unbox it and they get it set up, they throw out their data sheet, they throw out the box, and they lose all reference to the speed that your router can support. With that said, it's not the end of the world here. There are other, there's another way that you can find out this information about your router. So we'll be talking about that next. And it all has to do with going online. When it comes to looking up your router's technical specifications online, the first thing that you need to do is you need to know the make and model of your router. And if you're not sure what the make and model of your router is, I will link to a post down below that I've written that walks you through the steps on how to determine the make and model of your router. Once you have the make and model information of your router, we are now ready to go online and pull down this information electronically. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay. So now we have the make and model of our router. We just need to go and look up the technical specifications for our router online. So let's open up an internet browser here. I'll use my router as an example. First, we're going to we're going to do a Google search here, so we'll just search the internet. I have a TP-Link Archer A7 router. So we're going to go TP-Link Archer A7 router data sheet. And what you usually find out is that the manufacturer 
of your router will have support pages that include all of the technical information that you're looking for. And that's what these search results tell us right here. As you can see, the first result is TP-Link. Archer A7 AC1750 wireless dual band gigabit router. This is the make and model of my router, so let's click in here. Okay, looks pretty good. As you can see, there's some high level information here. This tells me the bandwidth of my device, but we're going to take this one step further to get an explicit example of what I'm talking about. So usually you can go to the support section so I'll click support here to get some support documentation for my router. Okay, now here, it's not very, uh, doesn't take much of a leap to find out where we go next. Product overview, Archer A7 V5 datasheet, and you can download it right here. You can also get an electronic version of your user guide, the installation guide, there are FAQs, firmware updates, everything, just about everything you need for your router is all located on this page. That's why the support page is so valuable and I wanted to show it to you, is that not only can you get information or the data sheet for your router, but you can get pretty much anything else you need on here as well. So let's click the data sheet. Let's open this thing up. And right here on the first page, I'll zoom out a little bit. Bang. There is your bandwidth or your the speed that your router supports. It's right there. Usually it'll give you for a dual band router, which means that there are two different networks, two wireless networks that this router puts out. One of the networks will be the 2.4 gigahertz network, which gives out a speed of 450 megabits per second, and the faster, shorter range, five gigahit, excuse me, five gigahertz wireless network, you can get speeds of 1300 megabits per second on that network. So as a rule of thumb, I always take that lower number. The 2.4 gigahertz wireless network is the one that the majority of your devices will be using, especially if they're located far from the router. So just use this as your lower number. So I can say confidently, my router should support internet plans that are 450 megabits per second or slower. So it will easily support a 200 megabits per second internet plan, 300 megabits per second, you know that speed won't be an issue there. And that's why we want to know what speed our router can support so we can make those decisions about our internet plan. As you'll see, there's some other information out in here about the features of the router, the different things it can do. But for right now, we're interested just in these numbers, the speed that the router can support. And in my case, my Archer A7 router can support 450 megabits per second. Okay, there it is. Now you have the technical specifications of your router. You're able to determine what speed your router can support. And as a result, make decisions about your home network, whether the router you have is a good fit for your current internet plan and internet needs whether you want to make a change to your internet plan based upon the speeds that your router can support. Now you have the ability to make those decisions. For more information about this topic, I will link to a blog post down below that I've written about this very topic. If you have any questions after reviewing all this material, please drop a comment below and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. And as always, thank you for checking out this episode from Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next one.